the idea is that when you're traveling and you've got a baby, you still have got to get them to sort of settle down after the excitement of, you know, going from A to B. So we wanted to create a sort of serene atmosphere so the mummy could sit with her arms supported and feed the baby and just enjoy being at the heart of this great city. But yes, being really peaceful and quiet. The artwork on the cot, um, we chose the alphabet, um, a bespoke alphabet. So we've got a P for park, a C for carriage, um, trying to get that timeless feel of um, Hyde Park just across the way. Uh, we've got an I for ice skate because uh, allegedly um, the great ballroom downstairs was the first ice skating rink in London and the Queen, um, when she was very, very young, learnt to ice skate here, which is rather lovely. So we were trying to sort of get some of the Grosvenor history and some of the British heritage and sort of join it all together. In light of the fact that we were looking at the summer and the fact that the royal baby is arriving and like with the jubilee and, and with the royal wedding we feel that this is going to create a really nice buzz in london especially the year after the olympics and we had such a fantastic summer last year that to capitalize on that extra kind of awareness and the tourism that will come into london this summer that it would be great to kind of link the two and be able to do something that we've actually really wanted to do for quite a while um, so to build the nursery was just the perfect timing It's a fantastic idea for parents with that kind of money. I am slightly surprised that the cot is in the same room as the parents because as a travelling parent myself, I would want the baby to be in another room so I got a good night's sleep. But I think great idea for there to be somewhere for the baby to play and to have all those kind of facilities so that when you come back after a day's sightseeing, you don't need to worry about any of that. Generally that's a very good idea, but for most people they would never be able to afford that luxury. It's out of most people's price range, especially in London. To be honest, if you're staying in a hotel, you're not staying for a huge amount of time. You kind of make do with the travel cot and, you know, changing mats and things like that. <laughs> 